To breaking new details out of McKeesport, fire destroys four police vehicles early this morning, and investigators don't believe it was an accident. KDK's Chilicasi Adele is speaking with city leaders who are now offering a reward for potential leads. This is the scene here in McKeesport. There's one unmarked police car burnt over there. To its left, there are three others. Police believe this was intentional. The train tracks were busy above ground near the McKeesport police station this morning. On the ground, it was too. Say it's in our backyard like this, it's very heartbreaking. Heartbreaking to see four police cars charred in what appears to be something intentional. McKeesport's mayor is not mincing words. I think it's safe uh, to say that it was arson. Obviously, this is an attack on police. Uh, and, and the one thing we are very grateful for is that, you know, there were no injuries. Police got the call sometime before 315 this morning. Fire crews, officers and canine crews sniffed around too. Police say there aren't any cameras in the lot. They are checking around the surrounding area though. Our guys are using technology to hopefully figure things out on this investigation. We saw one person from the ATF on scene. The agency confirmed with us that they are assisting McKeesport police in the investigation. Now we're happy to support them in today and any other day also. Pools of melted rubber surround the wheels of the burned cop cars. As the scent fills the air, McKeesport's chief can't help but think about how this is rare. You woke up at 3, 12 in the morning, the four police cars are on fire in your lower lot. My heart sunk to my stomach. I've never had that call before. The ATF is offering a $5,000 award for any information that would help lead to an arrest. They're asking that you contact McKeesport Police. In McKeesport, I'm Chile Casiadele, KDK TV News.